inner sights up in Montana are becoming very known for making the finest peep sights available these days. I've always loved peep sights, the old Williams receiver sights, the old Lyman Tang sights and all that kind of stuff. They're wonderful, but the folks at Skinner have taken it to a new level. They really make wonderful sights. They're rugged, they're precise, they're reliable. They're very well made. They're all made right there at, at Skinner's shop in Montana by Andy Larson and his outfit. Andy has become a very close friend of ours, he and his wife, Sheila. They're just the most wonderful kind of people that you'd ever want to see. And I'm really proud to be able to call them my friends. They're even making OEM sites for some of the finest rifles going these days from Henry and Ruger, Marlin. Uh, some of those models feature Skinner sites. I'm real proud of what they've done there. A few years ago, Skinner acquired a sewing shop up there in Montana and they've been making their own uh, gun cases. Uh, they make scabbards and uh, horseback cases, ATV cases, things like that. They also make a really neat garment bag that uh, holds a whole bunch of guns as well as some clothes and in an unobtrusive fashion. They're making some really wonderful and innovative stuff up in their sewing shop. But they've just come out with these. This is something that uh, is brand new for Skinner. These are gun rugs. now. If you're like me, you need gun rugs. You can't never have too many gun rugs, and these are really nicely done. Uh, they're typical gun rugs that you get like uh, at gun shows and things like that. They're gonna cost you about 10 bucks, and uh, they're made out of different materials. Some of them have uh, have like a faux fleece lining on the inside. Some of them have like a, like a quilted lining or something like that. You have to be really careful about a lot of that stuff because some of those materials that they use will retain moisture from the air and just concentrate rust onto your gun. Some of them go even further than that, like some of the uh, some of the faux fur linings and things like that are treated with chemicals that'll just ruin the finish on your gun in no time. The Skinner gun rugs are not like that. They're made with the heavy duty Cordura exterior on them. The inside of them has a softer nylon interior. The padding on them is thick enough, but it's not so thick that your case gets to be so bulky that you can't carry around many of them. I use gun rugs whenever I travel with my guns. I've got like one of those briefcase size uh, seahorse cases, the big heavy plastic ones, and I took all the guts out of it. I can put about a dozen gun rugs in there, and that holds a whole bunch more guns than the thing was designed to do. Using gun rugs in that fashion, it just really works wonderfully. And these take up less room than some of them have the more bulky lining in them. These cases are very high quality. They're all 100% made in the USA in Skinner's shop in Montana. They're wonderfully done. They uh, are big enough without being too big. They're about, about 16 inches long, about 8 inches wide. And uh, they're big enough. Andy says that they'll handle like a six and a half inch Ruger Black Hawk, that sort of thing. Uh, I find that they're even bigger than that. This is an eight and three eighths inch barrel K frame Smith. Goes in there just like it's made for it. No problem whatsoever. It also works wonderfully with a seven and a half inch Colt single action army. Uh, I've tried that in there, they work great six and a half inch in frame smith no problem whatsoever they'll just go right in there zip up with plenty of room to spare and so of course you know any of your typical 1911 style pistols or anything like that are going to go in this thing with plenty of room to spare your typical chinese made gun case that you can get at a gun show for 10 bucks or something like that they're all well and good but you have to be careful with the materials that they're made of they can do more harm than good to your gun these here are 25 dollars a piece you can get them at skinner sites website check them out at skinnersites.com
Those of you who have followed me for any length of time know that I have a serious thing about flashlights. I've got a bunch of flashlights and I'm always looking for the next big thing in flashlights. I've never really used weapon lights all that often, uh, that is weapon mounted flashlights, but uh, I've got one here that's really a cool deal. This is the Phoenix G19R, which is a uh, rail mounted flashlight. It has dual mode operation. It's got a uh, dual momentary switches on it it's a uh, USB-C rechargeable it's got an 1100 rechargeable battery inside the housing on this but it's set up so that you recharge it with the USB-C without removing it from the housing that makes it easier to charge while it's on the weapon or you can easily take it off the weapon I've got this mounted to a custom finished Caltech KSG shotgun this is my bedside shotgun I've got a Trijicon reflex sight mounted on top of it. I've got a Medieval Industries adjustable vertical hand grip on this thing. This is set up just the way I like it. And as I said, it's my bedside shotgun. The Phoenix G19R can be mounted either to a Picatinny spec compatible rail or to a Glock compatible rail. It's got a different mounting plate to use on either one of these. It attaches and detaches very quickly and very easily. It's got a slick little quick detach clip on the side of it you just flip that up you take that off and it's just as easy to put it back on and it's there securely it's not going anywhere it's recoil resistant it's got two switches on the back of it that cycles between two different modes first of all you've got the standard mode it's a 350 lumen light and it projects to about 300 and something feet then it's really easy to switch between the standard high mode and turbo mode which is 1200 lumens also if you press and hold either switch it gets you to a strobe setting which is makes it really easy to disorient an attacker and as soon as you let off the switch it goes back to the last mode you had it set on with the two different types of rail adapters included it'll either fit a standard 1913 picatinny spec rail like i've got on this caltech ksg or it'll fit a glock rail which will work on larger pistols it won't work on a compact pistol because it's a little bit bulkier than that but it's a great unit to work on on the underside of a rifle or a shotgun like i've got it set here and it really does light up the area it's a simple tap on or tap off switch which if you've got a vertical foregrip like I've got, I've got a mounted right in front of my vertical foregrip, it's just really easy to reach up with your finger and tap that on and off without moving your hand from a vertical foregrip. It's a very handy size, just right to, to fit on a short section of rail. It's uh, about three and a half inches long, about a little over an inch in diameter. The weight of it's only about three and a half ounces, so it doesn't really add anything to the weight. The quick detach function is really a neat deal. It's just a really cool weapon light from the folks at Phoenix. They're really handy in size and in operation. They're made from aircraft grade aluminum. They're tough as a pine knot. You're not gonna bust these things up and uh, they're gonna give you good reliable service for many years to come. The rechargeable function is really nice because you're not all the time having to buy batteries for the things. You know, those little squat batteries can run into a bunch of money in a hurry. The retail price on these is $99.95. They're available from the Phoenix store. Check them out.
recently participated in a writer's event put on by my friends at Outdoor News America. I had a bunch of us writers and uh, several different companies get together and look at the different things. One of the companies that exhibited was my good friend Rob Leahy from Simply Rugged Holsters. Simply Rugged is just that. They're simple, they're rugged, but they're beautiful. They're very well built. Uh, he's been in business for, I guess, close to 20 years, and he's really doing some fine stuff. I, I've got a bunch of his holsters. I can't recommend them highly enough. Rob Leahy is just one of my closest friends in the world for the past 20 years or so. He's just a wonderful guy. He's a former military, former police, a former Alaskan guide. He's, he's done all kind of stuff, and it's really cool just to sit down and listen to him talk. He's a, a great big-hearted fella, and he makes some of the best holsters that are available anywhere. After he got done with his presentation, he had a bunch of leather that he didn't want to fool with going back home with him, so he, he asked me, he said, uh, do you have a five-inch end frame? And uh, son of a gun, I do. As a matter of fact, uh, I've got this. Uh, this is a uh, Smith & Wesson Model 27-2, nickel plated, perfect condition, that uh, belonged to uh, my good friend and Rob's good friend, Jimmy Wood. Jimmy was also a brother shootist, and uh, Jimmy was just probably the coolest old dude I ever knew in my life. He was a great musician. He was a fine shooter. He was a former cop, a police firearms instructor, and he used to own a funeral home. And he just, he's also a guy who could write a book on all the things that he had done in his life. Uh, Jimmy was a very close friend of mine for over 40 years. I sponsored him into the shootist and uh, he passed away back in 2015. Uh, I miss Jimmy a whole lot. We all, a lot of us shooters will sit around and talk about what a great guy Jimmy was and laugh and tell old Jimmy stories and just have a good time remembering Jimmy. This is a gun that I remember Jimmy from because uh, I bought this from Jim Jr. after Jimmy died. This was a wonderful gun, uh, a five inch end frame, 357 Magnum, Model 27, original nickel plated, and, and it's in just perfect condition. It's, it's just one of the nicest six guns that I own. It came with the box and the paperwork and the tools and everything that came with them. The only thing it didn't have was the original grips. Uh, Jimmy had a thing about Packmeyer grips. He loved those Packmeyer rubber grips. So the original grits for this gun ended up in a parts box somewhere and we never could find them. It came to me with the Packmeyer grips that Jimmy had swapped them out for. So another good friend of mine sold me this set of ram's horn grips which just worked wonderfully on it. They're beautiful. So when Rob asked me if I had a five inch end frame, I said, yeah, you know, I've got Jimmy Wood's old five inch model 27-2. So Rob handed me this holster and said, well, you need to go home with this because uh, Rob loved Jimmy just as I did. So Rob gave me this holster to take home with me and it's a beautiful holster and he, he meant for it to be a tribute to Jimmy. So it's staying with Jimmy's gun. Rob calls this holster the 120. It's uh, patterned after George Lawrence's famous uh, three person style holster. And because I wear overalls just about all the time, I've got this mounted as a chest rig using one of uh, Simply Rugged's chesty puller suspension system. This one here, this, this holster is a belt holster. The chesty puller is designed to accept just about any pancake style holsters with the three slots in it. But you can get the chesty puller with an adapter system that allows you to carry just about any belt holster on it using this conventional adapter that basically just has a little piece of belt that snaps onto it. It's a really ingenious little system and using the chesty puller and the conventional adapter you can put pretty much any belt holster on the chesty puller system. It makes for a very economical and versatile rig. I use them all the time and I recommend them to everybody that I know. Anyway, the 120 holster is a beautiful holster. It's got a long strap on it that easily lets you unsnap it in a hurry. The strap is riveted on so it pivots. You can loop it around the front or behind the hammer, however you want to do it. This one here is custom carved by Rick Gitline. Rick does a whole lot of carving work for Rob and he really does some amazing work. This one is carved in a Celtic knot pattern with a basket weave background and it's an ox blood color. It's really beautiful. The ox blood color also stands out beautifully against the nickel on this Model 27. The 120 holster starts at $120 and uh, it goes up from there depending on what sort of uh, ornamentation you want on it.
You can get these uh, plain. You can get them border stamped. You can get them border tooled. You can get them uh, like basket weaved or fish scaled or whatever. And then you can go all the way and have it custom carved by Rick Gitline. They're wonderful holsters. They're cost effective. You'll never wear one of these out. These are just some of the nicest holsters on the market from my friend Rob Leahy at Simply Rugged Holsters.